Welcome back, everybody. Today we're going to be testing out some level 3 alpha plates from AR500 Armor. These ones are actually going to be soft plates. We got them in this micro rig here. So these ones here, I believe, are 8 by 10. And I'll be opening it up here and show you what we're actually working with. You guys hear a bulldozer in the background? That's because the uh, DPW guys are working right behind me. But um, as you can see here, level 3A, these ones are recent made, March 2015, so current production. And uh, we are going to send some rounds uh, into them and see how they hold up. They're supposed to be rated for 44 Magnum, all pistol rounds up to 44 Magnum. So uh, they're super lightweight, uh, pliable for comfort, stuff like that. But we're going to see if they actually work at preventing penetration. So that's the most important thing. We'll get it rigged up and start hitting it with some lead. We're going to do all our firing from 15 meters away. We got the uh, HKP-30 here with some uh, Freedom Munitions 115 grain 9 millimeter. So full metal jacket stuff and it's also uh, going to be coming out of this relatively long barrel. It's uh, There's obviously longer and shorter but it should have some pretty good velocity to it and uh, we'll see how it does. You can see our point of impact up here and uh, the bullet, if you can see it, is still in there. So no problems at all. We can feel it. No penetration. And uh, that's pretty much it. Let's step it up to 40 cal. We have the Glock 35 here, so relatively long barrel again. And we're going to have 165 grain loads from Freedom Munitions going down range. Again, full metal jacket, same distance, same everything. Let's see how we do. Point of impact right here, and again, we have the bullet completely contained. You can see it kind of protruding there. And uh, the backside there had no issues at all. No penetration, step it up again. Unfortunately, I don't have any 44 Magnum guns, but I do have a 460 Roland gun. This one here is the uh, Glock 21 converted. And we have our Underwood ammo. This one here is the 185 grain stuff, hollow point stuff from Underwood. It's humming, this stuff packs a punch. So. We're gonna put that stuff in there and uh, see how it does. <laughs> the bullet cracked that piece of wood that I had back there as a backing, uh, but it stayed in there. Let me see if I can actually open it up a little bit, show you. This right here. Is your actual bullet that thing as you guys can see hit it with some serious energy it's still very hot this is actually just a couple seconds seconds after shooting it and uh, it's pretty impressive we're gonna uh, step it up again as if that last round wasn't powerful enough we're gonna step it up again we have the uh, 255 grain hard cast load 460 rolling again from Underwood ammo uh, for those of you guys that watch my 460 review this thing is this load I should say is a handful and just has it tons of energy going through it. So uh, we'll see how it does on that uh, level three alpha armor. Tell you, when you shoot this gun, you gotta be ready, man. That recoil is no joke, even for experienced shooters. Once again, guys, the armor did its job. You can see the front here. We'll open it up, pull that hard cast lead bullet out. If I can actually get it out, it's kind of stuck in the weaving there. And there is the round itself. Very hot still, of course, just like the last one, but it was contained without question. And honestly, there's definitely some uh, fresh uh, material back there, so it could probably take a little bit more. And once again, we had some serious force. That was the uh, 185 grain bullet that you see right here. Here's a 255 grain hammer on this one. So it definitely uh, hit it pretty hard, but the body armor held up without question. One thing I want to point out is that these are available both separately and together. So it comes in a combo deal where you can get the actual little micro plate carrier here as well as the body armor panels. The panels come in different sizes. So if you guys have a larger, uh, carrier that you want to use you certainly can do that but this one here is actually the adult size although it looks relatively small it's going to cover most of your vital organs 
And as we've seen here, protect against small arms, at least pistol fire anyway. Rifles are going to go through that sock armor. It's just how it is. They can be worn in conjunction with hard plates, though. I should point that out. So if you want to wear soft and hard, certainly you're more than welcome to do that. And it'll just increase your protection level a little bit. Uh, we'll put all the different sizes here. We'll kind of roll them in so you guys can see. We'll also roll in some photos uh, showing you the cost, at least as of today, over at AR500's website. But certainly we've shown that uh, it does its job and protects you against impacts of those uh, pistol rounds anyway. If you guys have any questions about this, you can always post below in the comments section. We obviously had some fun out here today testing the goods. I want to thank AR500 for sending out a couple of the uh, 3A uh, panels to test out. And if you guys have any specific questions on the actual armor itself, you can check them out over at uh, AR500 Armor. But for now, we'll keep putting a few rounds down range, and uh, that'll pretty much do it, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing, and we hope to see you in the next video.